How's it going guys? It's Chap91 here with another My League Rebuild and today we're going to be doing the Phoenix Suns. Phoenix, they have a pretty good team. Um, I mean they've got... They've got... Um, they've got Booker. I mean he's going to be a beast in the future. They've got Eric Bledsoe, which is a pretty nice piece onto this team. They do have Marquise Chris as well, which I feel like if we put him to the small forward position he'll go up. First off, let's um, jump in here and get the 2017 Night Embrace the Pace draft class here. And just in case, you know, in case we win this year, we want to move into a next one. So let's just check out the contracts on this team. Bledsoe's contract is very good. Probably won't move him. Brandon Knight needs to go. Tyson Chandler needs to go. Jared Dudley needs to go. Alex Len needs to go. Like, we've got contracts here that just have to move. So let's just check out the staff. First off, so we have a B minus CFO. To be honest, I want to get a better there. Let's grab Hamilton in. We need to get way better assistant GM. No way am I keeping him. Vincent, you're coming in. Head coach, Earl Watson, I'm sorry, but you have to go. We are getting in Kevin here. Assistant coach, again, we need to get rid of him. This whole staff just needs to be redone. Getting rid of this guy as well. Let's bring in an A. Don Carter. And trainer, well trainer we can't really get much better, so I'll leave this guy for now. We'll probably try to find a new one in the off season. So let's just look at free agency. There's a couple of guys, but we can't get anyone because we don't have any room. So let's just try, let's just try throw these lower overall guys up into the block. If I can, wow, they want me to take on Miles Plumley. No, thank you. I get a pick. All right, I can't get a pick for him. Let's take a lower contract though. We'll have Ron Baker here. And basically, I want to try to get as low as possible contracts so that it minimizes how much of an effect it has when we actually drop them. Wow, you seriously only one trade? What if I put these two together? Still only one in trade. And I throw in a second rounder. All right, perfect. So we can get a lower contract again. All right, so we're going to drop these two guys. So release and release and now let's look at free agents Jared Solinger we can pick up we have 18 mil in the clear so let's just drop his salary down to like 8.5 and he accepts all right perfect let's also Terrace Jones we can pick up for maybe six point try six mil all right he accepts as well so perfect there are some other free agents here which are really good um, so we might end up going after him, but before we do, let's just check out what everyone's overalls do when we move positions. So Bledsoe will stick at the point guard, Tyler Eulis, I'm not sure what we want to do there. You're 5'10", you probably shouldn't be playing shooting guard really, but you could be a nice backup. Brandon Knight, he needs to go. Devin Booker, can play the small forward if we need him to, but shooting guard for now. Same with Barbosa, he can play the small forward. Um, Derek Jones Jr., pretty low overall. Williams, Terrence Jones can play the small forward. Marquis Chris, so yeah, Marquis Chris is a 76 or a 75 right now, and he goes up to a 78 if he's at the small forward position. Dudley goes up to a 76. Salinger can play the small forward if we need him. Tyson Chandler needs to go. Alex Len needs to go. Dragon Bender can play small forward at 7 foot 1. That's crazy. <laughs> we'll leave him at center. So, we're going to need to make some moves. Let me um, just have a play around and I'll come back to you guys in a second. Alright guys, so I've been playing around with some potential trades and this one we're going to start off with. We're going to get rid of Eric Bledsoe. He's a piece of this team, but we're going to bring in Kemba, who's on a lower contract, better overall wise, and same age. And we're also bringing in Cody Zeller, so for Terrence Jones, who we just picked up from free agency. So sure, he has a four-year, but Cody Zeller has a five-year where he goes into a 12 to $15 million contract. So I'm pretty happy with those two pieces, to be honest. They're going to be long-term prospects on our team. So let's just try, and I want to see what I can get, because Tyson Chandler and maybe like Brandon Knight and, a fir and our first rounder, because our first rounder, I feel like, should be worth a fair chunk. So let's just see... Two and a half stairs. Okay, so we can get Chris Middleton and Greg Monroe. Not horrible. Larry Nance, Nick. Wow, not many trades there, to be honest. Um, what if we threw just like Tyson Chandler up by himself? He has a pretty big contract. 
hopefully by having the pick there will help entice teams onto it. Let's... Uh, 2k would load faster, that'd be great. John Holmes, Greg Monroe, Aaron Williams, but he's on a one-year contract. Jay Crowder is pretty nice. Tony Allen, Paul Millsap, but he's on a one-year deal that he, he'll decline his player option. Gordon Clarkson, that's a nice backup piece. Jeremy Lin is also a very nice backup piece, but he's only two years, whereas Clarkson's four. I feel like Clarkson's probably the one, to be honest. Um, let's go to the Clarkson deal. Can I do it without these picks? No, of course not. <laughs> what if I threw in a bunch of second rounders? You want a first? You want our 2018 first? Or Houston's 2017. Houston will probably be pretty good, so that's not really going to be worth much. Um, what if I just run that? Run Alex Len for Metal World Peace in a second rounder. Alex Len, Tyson Chandler in a first. Yeah, sure, we'll do that. Alright, so we get rid of Tyson Chandler's contract from the team. So that's one contract gone. Let's throw Brand Knight up with the, our first rounder again. And let's see what pieces we could get for Brand Knight and our first rounder. Our first rounder did go down overall wise, um, worth wise that is. Do you want to give me Jay Crowder and Marcus Smart for Brand Knight in a first? Wow. Um, Marcus Smart's on a team option. I get two. I will do. I mean, that's really nice. I'm surprised they want to do that, to be honest. Um, what if I give you the heaps? He can say no. Alright, I'll just give you our pick. That's fine. Um, it's not going to be worth much in the long term anyway. I think Marcus Smart, yeah, he goes up to 78. He can play shooting uh, small forward if we need to as well, so that's pretty nice. So who else do we have that has a big contract? We have uh, Clarkson, but I want to keep him. Jared Dudley, 31, uh, 31 years old. What can I get for you and the Rockets first rounder? Seventeen. Now go Splitter, Rondo, Mid Johnson. Nick Vucevic isn't too bad. He's only twenty-six. Um, someone else? Not really. Vucevic, I sort of like to be honest. Um, contract's about the same though. He's a bit better at least though. So what if I threw Metal World Peace up? Try get him off the team. Diamond Stone, probably no. For Troy Williams, because they're going to give me a second. Perfect. So let's get rid of Troy Williams from this team. Not you, Troy Williams. And let's pick up maybe I pick up Jarrett Jack. Mill. Yeah, sure, whatever. You take that. Alright, so that's gonna give us a nice piece off the bench at either shooting guard or small forward position. Um let's see what else we need to do. So right now we have point guard and a shooting guard. Small forward, I guess. Challenger's okay at power forward. But I would rather get better players still. So, Jordan Clarkson, maybe we do trade you away. Jared Dudley, we do want to get rid of. So let's throw two first rounders up with Jared Dudley. Let's see what we can get. Vucevic. Vucevic is the only one that's really coming up. So what if I just go straight swap? First, first rounder for a second rounder. If I gave you two second rounders instead, okay. What if I gave you three second rounders instead? Um, I always get these two the wrong way around. Does that mean we would be swapping the best, wouldn't we? And I get rid of one of these second rounders. You want that second rounder? Okay, whatever. You take that. So we get that done. Lucevich, welcome to the team. Zella goes up nicely there. Switch can stay. Dragon Bender, to be honest, I know that you're um you were pretty high up in the draft, weren't you? You were the fourth pick. You have some good value to be honest, and I wanna capitalize on that. I'll probably trade you away. I'm not sure what or who with. Let's just throw our boaster up. What could we get? Wayne Ellington, not really. Throw him Noah, big contract, but we could try trade him away for another big piece. Um nothing really there, so Sort of want another high-ish, so maybe like Vucevic, no, maybe, maybe Jared Salinger, we 
Dragon Bender, the first rounder. What could we get? All of those pieces. Tristan Thompson, and Darren Williams, Nicholas Batum and Frank, Stephen Adams and Ennis, Yusuf Nurkic isn't too bad, Iggy and JaVale McGee. That's not bad. Um, whilst we're on that subject, Warriors, what are your centre positions like? I don't want to give up anything for JaVale McGee. Wow. Or Zaza. Damn it. One of those pieces. <laughs> what about them together? Nothing. Okay. Interesting. So, looks like this is going to be pretty challenging, guys. Um, <laughs> I need to figure out the next trade. Player contract wise, we're still $10 million in the clear, so we've still got a fair bit of money to work with. Um, it's not like we're hitting that cap at any stage soon. What about like Jordan Clarkson and two first rounders? Can I get anything for that? Dwight Howard is a good stepping stone towards getting um, towards getting like Hassan Whiteside. So, what if I do that straight up? Barbosa for Mike Dunleavy? Yeah, sure, that's fine. All right, so we get Dwight Howard on the team. Now let's throw Dwight Howard and two first rounders up. Who could we grab for Dwight Howard? We could get Chris Middleton and Greg Monroe, Thompson, Al Horford. There's the Hassan Whiteside one, which we, to be honest, will probably take unless something else is better. Uh, and of course it's not. So, get rid of those. Dragon Bender, I don't really want to utilize in this trade. Kylie Eulis, Wayne Ellington. Can I do it the second rounder? Mike Dunleavy for. That guy, sure, that's fine. All right, so we get Hassan White's on on the team. That's really good. Let's get rid of that guy who's super low. All right, so let's get rid of him. Release him to free agency. Now let's jump into the free agents. Uh, we'll grab Mario Chalmers here. Four years, perfect, he accepts. Um, he also, I believe, can go up. Yeah, he goes up when you go to a shooting guard position. Alright, so now we have a starting center point guard shooting guard. I guess we could put him to power forward. Or we could put Hassan to power forward. And a small forward. So we actually sort of have a starting lineup. We do want to get better players still. Um, player contract wise, we're pretty much at the salary cap. Uh, we've only got $2 million to play with. Next year, we've only got one guy who's leaving the team right now, which is Williams. That's not too horrible. So. I guess I'm going to keep on making some more moves. Wow, no one wants Williams. I guess because it's his final year. That's crazy. Robert Cummington is a nice pickup. Um, we might do that, to be honest. I do it without these pieces. <laughs> no, they want a first rounder. What if I give you a second rounder instead? Jared Solinger. Yeah, I'm not interested in wasting him in this trade. Tyler Euless, no, I'm not interested in wasting in this trade. I'll give you the first rounder, that's fine. All right, so I'm gonna have to make some more moves, guys. Um, come back to you if I have a big trade. But right now, um, next year, everyone's ready to go. No one has to be re-signed other than guys on team options. But I'll come back to you if I have a big trade. Otherwise, I'll see you guys when we're moving into the season. All right, guys, a whole bunch of trades made. We filled out our team. I'm not uh, not too sure how we're going to go. Let's run 10 man. We're going to heavily rely on our starters, I would say. So let's go 20. Let's check it out. We've got Kemba Walker, Devin Booker, Chris Middleton, Nick Vukovic, Vucevic, and Hassan Whiteside. And off the bench, we're running with Steven Adams, Cody Zella. Don't want Yusuf in. Damn it. <laughs> Rogdon, 18 minutes. Not Marcus Smart. One, Marquise Chris in, 12, and, no, for 14, and then we're running with Apev as our point guard. Then on the reserves, we've got Marcus Smart, TJ Warren, Yusuf Nurkic, Larry Nance Jr., Kyle Eulis. Like, our team is pretty crazy. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, worst off the bench, 78 overall. That's pretty damn nice. In fact, if we look at someone like the Pelicans, let's go to the Pelicans, um, <laughs> their best player, the third best player is a 79, like, our worst player on the bench is a 78. 
That's, um, yeah, you know, it's pretty crazy. So we're going to go to the All-Star break. We're going to see how this team goes. Hopefully we do well, but who knows? We need to build up that chemistry. We're currently at 10% or we're at, we were at zero. So, and Hassan out for two to four straight away. Damn it, Hassan, what are you doing? Anyway, guys, we'll come back to you once we're at the All-Star break. All right, guys, so we're at the All-Star break. We've gone 38-19, second in the conference. We've actually blown out this league. We have done so well. We're only eight and a half games behind the Golden State Warriors. You know, they have their big four with Zaza, JaVale McGee. Like, they got their same team. On the other side, Toronto Raptors, they're two games behind us, and they're leading the East. We've got Kyle Lowry, DeMar DeRozan, Barker Valanciunas, you know, usual suspects there. So let's check out the player stats on the year. Kemba Walker is leading the team with 19.6 assists. Devin Booker with 16 and 4 assists. Chris Middleton with 14 and 4 rebounds, 4 assists. Vucevic with a double-double of 13 and 10 rebounds. San is out for 4 to 6 weeks, so he got re-injured as well. 12 points per game, 10 rebounds with that double-double. Steven Adams with 10 and 9 rebounds. Yusuf out day-to-day -day at the moment with 8. Smart with 8 and really falls away from there. So a couple of injuries for us, nothing too crazy. Contract, contract extension-wise, nothing there that we need to worry about. In fact, next year, we're absolutely fine. No one's going to be a free agent, which is awesome. Let's, um, I mean, let's just see what we want to do. I mean, if, if we could pick up players, and I'm not sure we can, but, like, I want to throw up, like, Vucevic, and I don't have any picks because I traded them all away. So let's just throw up Nicola here. Get DeAndre Jordan, but we do have to give up Pat Bev, so we are giving up our backup point guard there, which I don't really want to do. Frank isn't bad, but we're giving up backup point guard again. <laughs> Dudley, no thank you. And a Farid, Drew Holiday. Like, there's some good deals, like Drew Holiday. Have you always had four years? I feel like he must have got re signed. Um, a couple of nice things, but nothing too crazy. Chris Milton, also, I'd like to throw up. I mean, he's a good player. I just want to see if there's anything better that we could get. Oh, that evens it out, but I don't really want to do that. Blake Griffin? Oh, but he's on his final year. Nah. Mike Conley? Wow, that's nice. Mike Conley would be good because we could play um, Book Rat Small Forward and either um, either Thingo, either... What's their names? <laughs> Either Kemba Walker or Mike Conley at the shooting guard. I don't really want to do it though because we are giving up our starting power forward position. I mean, we could put Steven Adams at a power forward. To be honest, let's let's do that. Um, wait, let me keep looking at these trades. Mike Conley, we will do. This Bosch is nice as well. The Tomb, Gay. Nothing really else is there. Rubio. So let's go back to the Grizzly trade and let's do this. So obviously we're going to have to reconfigure our team a little bit here. So let's just go in here. Um, we'll put Canberra at the shooting guard position. Devin Booker can play small forward or we could play Canberra at small forward either or. Devin Booker is going down, which is great. Um, so let's do that. So point guard, we're fine. Shooting guard, we're good. Small forward, we're weak at the starter. And power forward, we're weak. But we can put Steven Adams as the starting power forward. And Cody Zeller as the backup. He'd become the reserve center, wouldn't he? So we're just missing out on a power forward. We need a reserve power forward at the moment. Um, so we'll trade away Vince Carter or even drop him. So let's just try to trade him first off. Uh, Paul Pierce. Wow. Paul Pierce is the only piece there that I can actually pick up for him. Okay, Kelly Olinick is on a one year deal. But at least it would give us a power forward onto the team. Let's grab him in and let's switch his position. Wow, he goes up to a 78. Oh, wait, that's Cody Zeller. <laughs> he goes to 77. Um, let's now throw him up. Well, your Linux, you're on a one-year deal. Would prefer someone who's on multiple years. Jeff Witte, nope. Scalabis, yeah. I will take that. Seven is the 
deal. Here, Avika is a good one as well, to be honest. Um, but I prefer Scalabissier at the moment. Anyone else want to be thrown to me? Queen Devon would be nice. Oji Den could be good because we could bring in more cap and it would be another piece that we could trade away. So to be honest, I don't look, I don't really like picking up Goji Deng, but because he's gonna have a high contract next year and we're not gonna have enough cap to bring anyone in, I would rather take on the cap now. So we're gonna be negative 30 million next year. And now let's move Goji Deng to power forward. I mean we could put Cody Zeller back to power forward actually. Yeah, we may as well do that, that's fine. Alright, so our team sorted. Um, contract extensions, we have no one. We're set for next season, that's good. I guess we're going to keep on simulating. Um, nothing else I really need to do at this stage, so... Team's looking good, let's just check out the coaching plan with all these injuries. Mike Conley, Campbell Walker, Devin Booker, Stephen Adams and Gorgie Deng. And then off the bench running with Marcus Smart, Malcolm Brogdon, Yusuf, Marquise Chris and Pat Bev. Obviously, once the injuries are all sorted, we'll be fine. Let's um, simulate to the end of the season. Hopefully, we keep on doing well. And I'll see who wins the MVP. And at the end of the season, Kevin Durant gets MVP. 28 points, 9 rebounds, 6 assists, 2 steals, 2 blocks. Killed it with Golden State. Joel Embiid, Rookie of the Year. 18 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists, almost 3 blocks. Crazy. Corey Joseph, 6th man with 12 points, 4 rebounds, 8 assists. Andre Drummond, Defensive Player of the Year, 16 points, 15 rebounds, 2 steals, 2.5 blocks. And Nikola Jokic, Most Improved, with 16, 13 rebounds, 7 assists, 1.5 blocks. And Coach Lee goes to Steve Kerr as they go 63 and 19. Not as good as last year, but you know, still pretty decent. So, do we have anyone on any of the teams? Hey, it doesn't look like we're gonna have anyone here. Um, Tony Allen made an all defensive second. That's pretty crazy to see. We have no one, no one on any of these teams. The three seventy sixes make it there. Zoo back there for them. Sabonis, yeah, we have no one. Unless I completely missed it, we had no one on any of the teams. So. We go second in the conference, guys. We actually ended out the year really well. We stood strong. We stood strong and just kept holding on. We brought it back to seven games behind them, but we still couldn't catch up to them. They still have the same team, still the big four. Everything is still going for them. On the other side, we ended up one game ahead of the Toronto Raptors. Again, the same sort of team running for them as well. The player stats on the year. Mike Conley led the team with 21 points, 9 assists. Kemba Walker backing him up with 18 and 6 assists. Devin Booker with 17 and 4 assists. Sam Whiteside is out for 1 to 2 weeks, but he looks like he's playing. Got that double double of 13 and 11 rebounds. Steven Adams with 10 and 9 rebounds. G10 with 8 and then really falls away. So, just the one injury, which I think isn't actually going to stop him from playing. So, not too bad here. We've got Mike Conley, Campbell Walker, Devin Booker, Steven Adams, and Hassan Whiteside. And off the bench, we're running with Marcus Smart, Malcolm Brogdon, Yusuf Nurkic. Pat Bev, Marquis Chris. The only thing here, I would only want one of these guys. I probably prefer Brogdon, to be honest. Let's get rid of Marcus Smart off here. So we'll drop you down 17 minutes. Drop you down 15. Drop you down to 12. And then I'll give these minutes to Cody Zeller. Come off as our power forward off the bench. Alright, so we're taking on the Utah Jazz here in the first round. Let's see who the Jazz have. I feel like they have a pretty decent team, to be honest. Gordon Haywood out day to day, but he is still playing. Rudy Gobert, George Hill, Derek Favors, Tony Hood, Joe Ingles, and Alec Burks, both injured for him. But this team is pretty damn good, to be honest. Um, let's simulate this game by game, because I don't think this is a sure thing in this first round, even though it's a seventh seed. We um, could... Don't take a... S okay. Crap, he's serious? Come on. San is out day to day. He's, I mean, he's playing, but... Oh, we got to win two games in a row. Let's, um... Let's simulate with Simcast. Okay, they take the first quarter. They take the second quarter. Crap. What are they doing? They are not hitting a three-point shot. Let's, let's 
played through our star. Let's be patient at the moment and let's limit the transition. Let's protect the paint, play physical D, and let's let's crash the defensive glass. All right, let's continue simulating. Hopefully we can bring it back a little bit here. All right, we have a great third quarter there with the switch up. Oh man, they are close. They're keeping it close here. Can we hold it? Three points, three points ahead of them. Only three minutes left, and we're switching the leads here pretty regularly. One minute left, five points. Okay, let's go. 30 seconds, five points still. Oh, yeah. Okay, seven points with 25 seconds. Come on, we've got this. Okay, we do it. We're going to a game seven here with them. Let's simulate the game. They take the first quarter. We take the second back. Oh, my God. Look at that third quarter. What the hell is happening? Their three-point game is happening tonight. All right. Let's um, play through the star. Again, patient. Limit. Uh, actually, let's crash the offensive. Limit the perimeter shots. Play offensive and crash the defensive glass. All right. Let's go. Bring it back. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. Let's... Um, Shoot at will. Crash the offensive glass. Limit the perimeter. And run in transition. Come on, we need to bring it back. What is happening? Nothing. We're getting no points at all. What are you serious? Holy crap, we lose it here. To a seven seed. Our team lost it to a seven seed. Let's. That's crazy. Let's simulate the playoffs. See who wins it here. Golden State don't even make it to the. Western Conference Finals, and the... What? The Rockets win it. Golden State didn't even make it to the Finals. Chicago Bulls went second seed. That is crazy. Let me just check out our playoff stats here for the guys. Mike Conley led the team with 14 and 7. Devin Book with 13 and 4 assists. Stephen Adams with 12 and 10, that double-double. Kemba with 11. Yusuf with 10. Marcus Smart with 10. San not really performing that well. All right, guys. I want to go to a second season, to be honest. Um, I can't believe we just lost it that easily. Let's jump across the league meetings. Turn that off. All right, everything's disapproved. Don't care about that. Don't care about that. Let's make sure everyone signs back. First off, I just want to... I, I basically, I just want to simulate the season to see if we would win it in the second year because I feel like we got robbed there in the first year. Let's go, though. Qualifying offers, we've got none. My free agents, we also have none. Let's see if we can get any mid-level exceptions. So, like, Chris Paul? Perfect. All right, let's give him the most he wants. Let's bring him onto this team. All right, that's the most I can offer him. Anyone else here who's old? Paul Millsap doesn't want to take mid-level. All right, we get Chris Paul. <laughs> oh, my God, we get Chris Paul onto this team. Nene, come to the team as well. Um, anyone else that's sort of oldish that... Decent. Tony Allen, come to the team. Ty Lawson, no, you want money. Other, you fall down. Kyle Korver, you, you can come to the team as well. And I guess that'll do. If we get any of those guys, that'd be great. We get Tony Allen, Nene goes elsewhere, and Kyle Korver comes. All right, so let's jump across to player progression. Let's see how this team moves in the offseason here. Um, hopefully, I, I feel like they would progress really well because we have a pretty young team at the moment. I'm sure we have a couple of older players, but really, other than the guys that we just signed, the team is pretty much young. <laughs> so let's jump across here. Player progression. Chris Paul, yeah, goes down. Hassan goes down with these injuries. Tony Allen and Kyle Korver both go down. That's to be expected. Let's jump across to training camps here. I'm not actually going to run any training camps, but I just want to check out free agents to see if no one, if anyone big didn't get signed. No, not really. Dwayne Demons there, but yeah, nothing too crazy. Let's just check out our roster, um, make sure that we have um, and too many, uh, don't have too many players. So, shooting guard reserve, shooting guard. Why is this weird? Um, yeah, we're really strong here. Um, <laughs> point guard, we're obviously overpowered. Shooting guard, we're missing a backup. Maybe I'd put Beverly there. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. So Beverly can play that. Shooting guard, we're good. Small forward, we're super strong. Power forward, we're okay. 
Santa Whip. Okay, so um, we've got just a few too many players, so I'm going to trade away guys, and I'll come back to you once we're going into the next season with our team. Alright guys, so we're ready to move on to the season. Um, we have a pretty damn stacked team. Let's jump across, advance to the next season. Let's um, jump into the coaching plan. Before I show, let's go and utilize the bench a whole lot more this season. In fact, we know 40 for our bench. So let's go through it. Starting Chris Paul, Campbell Walker, Devin Booker, Jabari Parker, DeAndre Jordan. Now off the bench, we're running with Hassan Whiteside, Mike Conley, Andre Drummond, Pat Bev, Tony Allen. We have a guy at the eighth position who is 85 overall. Our worst player on the team on the bench is an 80. Like, if if we lose this year again, I don't know what to do. This team is just. We just, I mean, we just overstacked this entire team. Off the bench, our worst player is a 76. Even still, that's that's not even that horrible. And along with that, I'm pretty sure if we put Jabari, yeah, small forward, he would go up even further. We're not going to because I don't want to do that, but we're going to go to the end of the season, guys. I'll see you there. <laughs> I'll see you there. I feel like this team has got to do amazing. Alright guys, so I don't know what's happened here, but um, I was playing the finals and I got a PlayStation error and now when I try to go back into our save, I'm getting this corrupted file error. So I'm not going to be able to show you the rest of the build guys. We did make it to the finals, we are up against the Cavs. Um, in the regular season we ended up going 68 wins, so you know, we absolutely killed it in that season. Um, but yeah, we, we made it to the conference, uh, we made it to the, to the finals, up against the Cavs, and then it corrupted, so I didn't end up actually getting to finish off the season, um, and I lost a whole bunch of footage just then. So, if you enjoyed, guys, I don't know how the Suns didn't win the first year. I feel like we probably would have won it just then, because, you know, our worst player off the bench was actually an 81 overall. Like, we had an 89 in Mike Conley, 88 in Hassan Whiteside and an 85, I can't remember and who else, off the bench. Yeah, off the bench guys. Not as starters, but off the bench. Absolutely just crazy. Anyway guys, we, we would have won it. There's no way that LeBron James could have taken us. So if you enjoyed guys, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you with the next rebuild.